Hey everybody, it's Miss Audrey from the Fairfield County District Library and today we are talking about science! Yay! Specifically, we are going to be talking about how to make paper airplanes, which are some of my favorite things to make. So this month, um, we have put together some grab-and-go bags that you can pick up here at Maine or at any of our branches and the theme of March's grab-and-go bags is air and flight and stuff like that. And so inside March's grab and go bags, you have a few different kinds of goodies up to and including this little sheet called how to make an airplane. So in today's video, I'm going to be going through the steps one by one and show you how to make a classic dart paper airplane with the construction paper that was also included in those bags or whatever paper you have at home, that's fine too. All right, so let's get started making our paper airplane. Step number one says lay a piece of paper, take a piece of paper, lay it short end facing you. Step two, fold it longwise to make a long skinny rectangle. So we're gonna do it here, make a long skinny rectangle. Shoop. There we go. Step number three, open it back up and then fold the two top corners down to meet the center fold, the fold we just made right down the middle. So that is corner number one. And then that is top corner number two. Step four, repeat step three. Instead of two small triangles at the top of the paper, you'll have two long ones down the sides. So we'll fold the two triangle, or the two corners to the center fold. And we'll make a long skinny triangle down the side. There's one. And then we'll take the corner here And we'll fold it to the center fold there. There we go. Make a long skinny triangle number two. You do want to make good strong folds. It'll help your airplane stay together a little bit better later on. Then step number five, fold your airplane in half again. The fold at the bottom, so down here, this is the body of your plane. So this fold here is the body of the plane. When you throw your airplane, that's the part you're going to hold. To make a wing, step number six says to make a wing, fold half the paper down over the body of the plane. So take half of your paper and fold it down over the body of the plane. Make sure there's something left to hold on to. Make sure there's something left to hold so you can throw it later. So, whoop. there we go, there's one wing. Step seven says repeat step six on the other side. So we'll flip it over and we'll repeat on the other side. Try to make the wings match. That'll help your airplane fly more smoothly. There we go. Then unfold your wings a little. For step number eight, Unfold the wings a little bit. Oop, oop. Pinch the body of the plane and then give it a throw. Let's see what happens when I try throwing my plane. Let's lift the camera up. Let's see what happens. Not bad. So there you have it. 
it, how to make a simple classic dart style paper airplane out of a piece of construction paper. Now, there are other things that you can do with your paper airplane if you want to keep on having fun with it. You'll also notice that there are two pieces of construction paper. So if you want to experiment with different designs, feel free. Um, you can try taping the body of your airplane if you're annoyed that it keeps coming apart like that. You can try to tape it over the front. Uh, you can try weighing it down maybe with a paper clip at the nose of the plane or somewhere along the body of the plane. Some people like to make the body of their plane thicker or narrower. Some people like to turn the wings of their plane, the tips of their wings up. And that can change how the airplane flies. Another thing you can do is instead of starting with your paper longwise and folding it like this, you can start with it like that and fold it this way and repeat all of the steps that way. You can try it that way, see which way the airplane flies. Every single grab and go bag has two pieces of construction paper so you can um, have races against your own airplanes or other people in your house, uh, other kids in your house, if they also get a grab and go bag, you guys can have airplane races against each other. The sky's the limit. You can have a lot of fun. Um, also, as exciting library news, we will be opening on March 8th to the public. We will be requiring that everyone wear masks inside the building. Those masks will have to cover your nose and your mouth at all times inside the building. If you cannot do this for health or comfort reasons, we will still be offering our curbside um, services for the duration, probably for the rest of forever, honestly. We are also now offering lockers at the library that will have after hours access. So if you have holds that you'd like to pick up at the library after the library's operating hours, you can put things on hold to pick up at the lockers instead of at the actual branch here at Maine. Um, anyway, guys, we look forward to seeing you all soon and we hope you have a good day. Thank you, bye.